Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about gift cards. So first, I'll explain what gift cards is, how it works, and how you can use it to implement on your order online page. So this video is going to probably be about 5 to 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to go um, not too fast, not too slow, but kind of explain step by step on how you can use this feature. So again, with the branded app, the online ordering, the Clover, there's always new things coming out, existing features, workarounds. There's all these things you can do, right? So some of the features that I talk about is basically workarounds that I discuss with you guys because there's things that you can do right now that you may not be aware of. So from time to time, uh, I'll make these videos to help and guide you to add these useful features because the more features you, you use, the more online orders you get, right? Uh, or the more uh, revenue you can make. So let me talk about the gift gift card feature first of all. So as you know, Clover has something called more tools. I remember a long time ago they used to call it apps or app store or app market, but now they call it more tools. So basically more tools or apps is the same thing. Uh, they just use a different word. It basically it's an app that you download to enhance your Clover dashboard device, your online ordering experience and all that. Since you, already, you have, since you have already downloaded um, Smart Online Order, which is this app here, right? Since you already have this installed, the question comes up, how can I make this even better, right? How can I add more features to it? I want to do gift cards now, right? So how do you do that? So that's a very good question. So let me show you a workaround, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go to Accounts and Setup right here, Accounts and Setup. When you go to account and setup, you'll see something called sell digital gift cards online. If you don't see this button, that means you may not have the correct register plan. So you may have to upgrade it. But if you can see it, this is the button you're looking for, okay? All you do is click on it. And if your thing is set up correctly, that means you should have a link right here. Right here it says open link or copy, okay? So first, let's open the link. The reason why I want to open the link first is so you can see what it looks like, okay? This link you can share with your friends, with your customers, with people you know, with the community uh, on your website where people can come and buy gift cards, okay? And it's very easy to use, right? They can type in 5 bucks, 10 bucks, 100 bucks, receipt's name, email address, and they get a gift card issued to them. Now the question arises, how can this gift card be redeemed? Redeemed meaning instead of paying with credit card or Google Pay or you know, the, the cash or whatever payments that you accept currently, how can they pay with the gift card? That's, the, that's what I'm going to talk about here. And, the, and on top of that, I'm going to show you how you could highlight gift cards on your website and on your branded app. But first of all, in this video, I'm going to focus on the branded app, okay? So let me, let me actually explain to you what that is, okay? So the branded app, as you know, you sell food, you have your menu there, right? But then you also notice that we have something called the enhanced menu page, right? Which is something we added recently and some merchants have taken advantage of it. See how I added a button called gift cards right there? It says buy gift card, right? That's your menu, right? So I talk about the specials we have, but then I added something called buy gift card. Watch what happens when I click on it. Look at that carefully. I'm gonna click on it. Look what happens. It goes to the gift card, right? It goes to this page that you're looking at right here. So. From the app, from your iPhone app, Android app, your customers can buy a gift card, which is amazing, right? So all you got to do is you have to do that on the enhanced menu page. Where is the enhanced menu page, you ask? Okay, so you go to your, um, you go to, you go to your mobile app, and you if you scroll down here, it says enhanced homepage, or sorry, not enha enhanced homepage, not menu page, enhanced homepage, and you press the settings, okay? And you can add pictures, images, blogs, articles, right? So I made the gift card feature, uh, featured item. How, how did I do that, you're asking, right? So to start from the beginning, all you do is you press create, okay? You don't have to put the URL, right? So in this example, let me go back actually. See this one here, I'm going to press edit. You'll notice, um, actually you do have to put the URL, I apologize. Okay, so let me try that again. So the, what is a URL, okay? So even though it says article link, because we're actually trying to promote a gift card, you're going to use the gift card link. So I go here, copy this link right here, okay? And then I go back here, and then I paste it, okay? Like that, see it? Basically, you're telling your customers that if they click on that link, they can go to this link, and they could buy a gift card, right? 
now we have to tell people what this link does buy a gift card from us again this is very generic make sure it make it sound really nice okay and and then now here's the other thing you want to do um, we offer digital gift cards you can write however you want it okay and it says read more okay so you can say buy now right not read more right here buy now okay and you could write additional stuff like you know how how good your gift card feature works okay now the other thing is image url okay so you can you can go on google and type in gift card you get a bunch of results right i go to images and i get a whole bunch of results gift card gift card gift card so the only problem is that these images could be copyright protected right so i you may be able to get away with it but i try to play it safe and i go to this website called unsplash.com that is unsplash like this u u n splash.com like this according to this website this is what they tell us so let's just see what they say uh let me go to the bottom of the page i think it's under um unsplash awards stuff topics um about okay anyhow it tells you here that their images are uh can be used all oh, right here free images okay let's see what it says here so yeah it says free images uh collection of high quality pictures submitted by our community of talented contributors and completely free to use for any purpose so so basically that they're telling you that these images you can use it so let's type in gift card then so hopefully something comes up i remember there's other websites like this okay this is only one that i've been using recently so let's use um this is a pretty nice one so all i do is i right click and i copy image address right there see it and then i go back here and then i paste it okay there it is right there see so that gift card image address it shows up right here and says buy now okay and then i can make this featured okay featured and press save do you see it even though i had this one before i did it again because i wanted to show you how i did it right i put buy a digital gift card i say we offer digital gift card buy a gift card gift card is store specific um, so you can write whatever you want on there i just wrote these different words okay now let's go ahead and see what that looks like i'm going to go ahead and close the app okay and my splash screen comes up first okay there it is buy a gift card see it when i click on it it takes me to the gift card okay so before i continue there's one more step you ha you have to be aware of okay i'm gonna try to keep this video under 10 minutes uh so i know you uh you may you may be busy with uh, other things so i'm gonna try to keep it short but you have to enable something okay so let me show that to you as well so what you want to do is on your back end of your order online page you want to enable new beta checkout page right here see it right there see it okay so you have to enable that okay once you enable this from clover order settings right here what's going to happen now is once you add once your customers add an item to the cart they'll be able to see pay using gift card right gift card number pin right so this will allow your customers to pay with credit card google pay gift card and soon we're waiting for apple pay to come out as well so right now you can enable that right now so again keep in mind that <clears throat> the gift card feature that they're paying with right they're basically buying it from the link i sent you so so you know how i have order online card checkout test page my orders you can actually add one more button here it says buy gift card and link it to that same link right and then when they buy the gift card you have it enabled they can use it to buy the gift card so let me tell you one last thing before i go because i know i have about 30 seconds left is that the gift card is store specific right so if i bought the gift card from donut shop number one i can only use at donut shop number one if you want your gift cards to be used at a different donut shop which you own as well check with your sales agent so that he can group them together like right he'll combine the mid somehow and then what happens is that gift card can be used at multiple locations right so make sure that as you do this feature 
you have to let your customers know like buy gift card can can only be used at donut shop number one number uh, one right right so you have to indicate that if you have one location if you have more than one location actually if you have one location you don't need to write that if you have more than one location um, you're gonna have to make this multiple times right so right now for example I have we offer digital gift cards you can say buy gift card for for um, uh, Main Street donut shop buy gift card for Jacksonville donut shop buy gift card for um, you know this other donut shop buy gift card for that as of right now that's how it works right but uh, your sales agent may be able to combine it all for you. So one gift card could work, work at all locations. And the reason why I say that is because if you look here, uh, it's basically, uh, it's, it's for that one location, right? It's only for that one location. Um, again, by the time you watch this video, things have, may have changed and Clover may have made an update where one, any gift card can work at any location, right? So somebody buys a gift card and works at all locations. Uh, as of right now, from what I tried, it, it, it wasn't possible. But I know another merchant that when he called the sales agent, he was able to combine all the MIDs and a gift card from one location worked at all his other locations too. So just keep that in mind as you work out this feature. All right, uh, and that's it for now. And I'll try to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.